I think there's no jobs that Americans won't do. Americans are hardworking people, and if you pay us a living wage, we'll do whatever job we're asked to do. I believe in Americans like that. I believe in the DREAM Act. As a teacher, I've seen lots of students who may have been born in another country, but they grew up in America, and they worked hard, they played by the rules, but they can't get a driver's license, they can't uh, get a job, but they're still working hard, and I think we need to help those kids out. that say to help the poor. The first message Jesus ever taught, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to who? To the poor, right? You know, the Bible says that it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than for a rich man to get into heaven. Somebody walked up to Christ one day and said, what must I do to follow you? He said, sell everything you own and give it all to the poor, right? 
right? I think that's asking a lot to give everything you own to the poor. Um, and Jesus talked about a giving message, and that's that's what I believe, right? We need to help the poor. There's over 2,000 verses that say that, but it shouldn't just be about the poor. There's 5,000 verses in the Bible that say to help other people. One of my favorite verses says, love your neighbor as yourself. Right? And I think that's a that's a code we ought to all live by, no matter what religion we are. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that guides a lot of my political philosophy. So I think if I'm elected, I'm going to make it one of my biggest goals to find ways that we can help working class people who are doing their best to survive but often not getting enough. I think every person who has a job should have health insurance, and I think we need to make that possible. And so those are some of my biggest things. Uh, we need to fix education. We need to have a clean environment. We need to make sure everybody that works has enough to live off of. I don't think that's too much to ask. I think that's some pretty basic stuff that everybody wants. We call it Southern, Southern hospitality. We can call it what we want, but it's a Texas tradition to do those basic things.